Hearing from a Valley neighborhood, neighbors called ABC 15 to get to the bottom of what happened. And all new tonight, investigator Melissa Blazy has found some questionable towing practices and murky accountability problems. A busy March morning at Don Hunter's house came to a screeching halt when her teen son tried to leave for school. He said, where's my car? And I said, you're kidding. It was no joke. Her son's car went missing overnight. So did two of her neighbor's cars. What was your first instinct? That it was stolen. Michael Roberson called Phoenix police. They had told me that my car was illegally parked on the road after 10 p.m. And that it had been towed. Michael said he legally parked in that spot dozens of times. Been very befuddled. Phoenix police told him Metro Towing and Impounds had reported the tow and he'd have to contact that company. First of all, they wanted to charge us the towing fee. Then they said, oh, okay, maybe it was our mistake. Hi, you're Dominic? ABC 15 met Metro's owner, Dominic Bova, at his lot on East Van Buren. He told us one of his drivers was supposed to service a new contract for an apartment complex. When she put it in her GPS, it took her to 38th Street. The property we picked up was on 38th Avenue. So it just got mixed up. How often do you mix it up? It's never happened. Metro ended up towing all three cars back to the neighborhood at no charge. Bova says his company is on the up and up. We have our GPS number. We have our licenses. We have everything that we need. We're properly insured. ABC 15 had more questions, though, after seeing this picture of the tow truck that returned the vehicles to the neighborhood. First of all, it does not have one of these. A Department of Public Safety tow truck permit decal, which should be on the front windshield or the back window right here. And this USDOT number right there traces back to an entirely different company out of North Dakota. This truck is not on the road. This truck is our yard truck and it's sitting back there as we speak. This That's truck not, was on the road. That It's not actively doing uh, private impound. This is the one that brought the cars back to the neighborhood. That's the one that brought the cars back, yes. He transported it, but he's not, he transported them back because they needed them. Bova says again, this was a one-time issue. Our camera spotted another Metro truck that did have the DPS decal. But in the last three weeks, Metro has not provided us with a valid DPS registration number. When you find the number, will you give it to us? Sure. ABC 15 also gave DPS several names that this company has operated under, two possible owner names, the company's real USDOT number and address, but DPS has not turned up any confirmation this company is currently licensed to tow cars as required by the state code. This is a big deal for folks. The public interest research group, known as PERG, is advocating for fair towing across the country. PERG says Arizona has some protections. You have a right to access items inside your car after it's towed, and you can pay fees with a credit card, so you don't have to have cash. But PERG says Arizona law lacks in other ways. You don't have statewide uh, maximums for towing, as well as you don't have any laws that specifically state that the tow company needs to notify once they tow the vehicle. Some Arizona cities, including Phoenix, do have tow charge maximums, as well as signage and post-tow notification requirements. Though Phoenix police say they don't independently verify if the companies are properly licensed through DPS, saying Phoenix PD currently does not have access to any list or database that maintains licensing information. We will continue to take the tow information. There's no harm, no foul. But the affected car owners disagree, frustrated about unnecessary hassles and the lack of accountability for improper toes. Get this information out and you know, stop this from happening. Some sort of recourse would be nice. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona. If you have a tow company complaint, contact the Arizona Department of Public Safety. DPS now telling Melissa they're looking into the company from this story.